Throughout America, there are thousands of teenagers. Some of the wackiest and most far out can be found in theater programs. Which brings us to Dunedin High School. Lesbian Troop 2177 is a kooky bunch. They may be crazy, weird, and all around goofy, but each one of them has one thing in common. They're being taught everything they know from this guy. Gerald Durst, Mr. Durst to them, is the leader of all this insanity. It may look fun having this guy as a teacher, but we're about to see what it's really like. This is true life. I'm a Durst student. Uh, He's dumb. Uh huh. You know, like seriously, people, colleges these days give degrees to anyone. Mm -hmm. Okay, my cat has a that's <laughs> degree. And I know. Oh my gosh, what a weirdo! Like, you just what can you say about Mr. Durst? He's just he, you just gotta gotta you gotta kind of tame him while he tames his classroom. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta kind of keep him in line every now and then. Just you know. The, the, the wag of the finger. Let's just say he's a kid at heart. Real strong kid at heart. And I don't know. I think he needs to grow up a little bit. But you know, it's fun. Times it can be a lot of fun. And other times, we're focused and we're working really hard. And he's over there going, rah, 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 or something crazy, stupid, weird, or fireball, fireball, or something totally random and weird. And it's like, what? What are you doing? You're the teacher, you're the adult, you're supposed to be getting down on us, but you're over there, whoa, 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 whatever the heck you're doing. It's like, it's ridiculous, it's crazy. Now there's two girls that were going to watch their story of being a Durst student during the most important time of the year, musical auditions. Let's meet the crybaby. She was talking about me behind my back, saying that I was pregnant with triplets that were conjoined at the head. Okay, first of all, you're stupid if you believe that. And second of all, do I look pregnant to you? No, I do not. I mean, you know, you look at her and you think, you know, maybe, you know, she has some potential. She has something. And then <laughs> she's like right in the middle of a monologue and... Like you, it's a it's a comedy. It's really good. She's going she's going fine, and then she just starts bawling on stage, and you're like, did I do something? Did so? Is there like a gun in the audience or something? Let's meet the drama queen. Hey, um, my name is Victoria, and I'm a drama student. Um, I'm 17 years old. Head of Dunedin High. I'm a junior, and um. I'm fabulous. I'm amazing. I'm so talented. I can do anything. Act, sing, dance. I can, I can do tacky work. I'm great. And, um, Victoria, she is so fine. Yesterday, she was coming down the hallway. She was coming down the hallway, right? And I saw her room. I, I don't know. She's such a witch. I'm going to use that word for you audience members for you. And she was just, I don't know. She's always so mean. She's so mean. Like you think you might have a friendship with her someday, but really, you know, she always just turns it around and like punches in a mouth with it. It's just nah. Yeah, and she claims she wants to be the best friend. Mm -hmm. I know. Good luck with that, Victoria. I don't know. What what is she thinking? She doesn't even have like the leadership quality at all. I have a four point nine. Don't care. Lego be it or not I like know. you. I Everybody hates you. <laughs> but man, Durst better cast me, okay? And if he doesn't, he's such a lobster. You know, you can't tell him I said that because, and he wouldn't cast me. I'm just amazing. He needs to realize this and he needs to cast me. That little lobster with his pinchy little claws and that, that, that tail that everybody sucks all the juice out of when you're eating it. Mmm. It's going down if he doesn't cast me. I think I did, uh, okay. I. 
I sang, um, I don't wanna be like Cinderella from the Cheetah Girls audition song. You think, I, I heard you from outside, you did pretty good. I don't wanna be like Cinderella. Uh, we get it, we get it. But, um, to me, like, I don't think I did that good. I'm not really that confident about it. I never have been, but, I don't know, hopefully I got it. But I probably won't get a part, cause, you know, Victoria is gonna get it. <laughs> She really can't speak. I think she's she did amazing actor, though. But she, her her speaking voice, speaking mm -hmm. voice sounds like Hannah Montana. No, I, I don't I don't agree. But you get nothing. And when you brag, you get something that isn't important. Got you all. <laughs> <laughs> 